Have you ever thought about how weird humans are? I think about how weird you are. I mean, most mammals are all hairy, but we're not. Unless you're Trace. So, it's true that our ancestors were actually pretty hairy, but what happened to all that fur? Hey guys, Julia and Julian here for D News. So, we get a lot of questions from you guys in the comments, on Facebook, on Twitter. One we've received a few times is, why do we have eyebrows? Thanks to Stabilization and James Wright, who both asked this one in our recent Evolution of Toes video. But to answer that question, we've got to explore why we lost our fur in the first place. Researchers believe that over three million years ago, we looked more like this. But obviously, we evolved out of our thick coats. Why? Well, researchers believe that as the climate changed, we moved out of the trees onto the hot, scorching savanna. And according to one study published in the journal Current Anthropology, around 1.2 million years ago, to cope with the heat, we lost fur and started sweating, a uniquely efficient way to cool off. One study published in the Proceedings of the Royal Society B suggests that while we lost most of our hair through natural selection, sexual selection finished the job. The researchers believe that humans like naked partners, not for obvious reasons, but because it helps them to see whether they have parasites or not. Parasites, like fleas or ticks, can cause deadly diseases like typhoid. So bare skin means a healthier mate. But there's a different study published in the journal Biology Letters suggests that we kept some of our body hair to spot some of those bugs. In this study, researchers shaved a bit of hair off a volunteer's arm and put a bed bug on their skin. Wait, how did they get people to agree to this study? <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, the researchers noticed that the volunteers spotted the bug more quickly on their hairier parts. The men in the study were actually better at spotting the bugs than the women, so maybe women selected mates with more hair because they could see fewer parasites on them. Okay, wait, is it just me, or are those two completely conflicting studies? Yeah, they are. These are two competing theories. We're really not sure whether hair helps or hurts when it comes to parasites, so as usual, more research is needed. But there's actually another possibility here. Maybe men are hairier because women like it. Some researchers think that since hair is controlled by hormones like testosterone, men are hairier. Right, and testosterone also increases the size of hair follicles on the face. A thick beard and a mane of chest hair could be a sign of how much testosterone a guy has. Speaking of facial hair, do you know why I have these magnificent eyebrows? Don't look at me like that. I'm not the only one wondering. Well, researchers think they work really well at keeping sweat out of our eyes, which would be useful as we evolve to thrive in a hot climate. And they're great for nonverbal communication. So we also can't not talk about body hair without talking about hair in our armpits and pubic areas. True. Turns out researchers think hair in these areas does double duty. First, it wicks away moisture, which is super helpful for dealing with the savanna sun. It also might trap scents, which is actually a good thing. Right, maybe these hairs evolved to trap the human musk to appeal potential mates. While human pheromones haven't been found, they have been theorized. Right, like how some studies show that women prefer the armpit odor of men with compatible immune systems. So armpit hair could trap more of this, um, alluring scent. Or, some researchers think because pubic hair growth coincides with puberty, maybe it's an outward sign of sexual maturity. Like an advertisement saying, look at me, I'm ready to mate. And speaking of mating, pubic hair might serve as a cushion during sexy times. It protects the genitals from abrasions or micro tears, or as protection from things like dirt. So while some people might think body hair is gross, we really don't have as much as we used to. And what we do have has a very important job to do. So put that razor down. Or actually, don't, because it might be that your beard is really gross. Trace explains why over here. Researchers sprayed beards with non-infectious bacteria and allowed them to rest in the hair for a while, then they washed their beards. After cleaning, there was still enough bacteria to spread to other people. So guys, are you more like an Uncle Fester or a Cousin It? Let me know down in the comments below, or if you have a question, go ahead and leave it down in the comments too, and use the hashtag AskDNews.